What is up everyone? Welcome back to another adventure here in Dublin. Today's gonna be a little bit different as far as episode today. We're just gonna focus mainly on food. So what I eat and we're gonna go try some Irish dishes and do some other things. So yeah, just sit back, relax, and let's go eat. So normally for breakfast, I either have like cereal or granola, just for something really quick to get me ready for school. But for lunch, I normally go to one of three places, either the, um, the student union building where I get sandwiches and other like pre-made meal type things, um, or the traditional dining hall, which is a little bit more expensive, but they have a lot more options as terms of what to eat like they got burgers there they have irish dishes and then every week they choose a different country and sort of highlight a food that's there so that's pretty cool they've had like nachos in the past they've had these like turkish things i don't even know what to call them but yeah so uh, but today for lunch we're gonna go to that sub place i'm gonna show you guys what i normally get so let's go Alright guys, I just got my sandwich. So every day at uh, the sub club is what they call it. Um, every day has a different like sub of the day and normally you can get that for like $5.50. Uh, but today's sub of the day was tuna. I'm not a big tuna guy. So I just got a barbecue chicken sandwich. It's got, uh, I substituted the mayonnaise for ranch. I got the barbecued chicken, uh, sauteed peppers and onions, and um, on a multi-grain seeded bun. So it's honestly one of my favorite ones. Uh, the other one um, that I really enjoy having is the turkey sandwich. So I usually go here because it's right next to the library and it's on the way home and to uh, my classes in the computer science building and in the science and math building too. So it just makes it easier to go there um, if like after class I want to go eat or just like if I'm going to go to class later on in the day. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy this sandwich and then we're going to go see Ant-Man. So that's going to be fun. All right. What's up everyone? Just got done with my last class and so now we're headed to go see Ant-Man. I got my shirt, you already know we're ready. Um, the theater is actually in, it's on campus in one of the um, student union buildings. It's actually like the main one, the biggest one. And um, it's got, it's like a fully functioning theater almost. It's got 88 seats. So yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to see like any movie that comes out like as it's gonna come out, which is really cool. So yeah, show time starts in 10 minutes. So let's head over there. I'll show you guys inside and uh, let you guys know what I think after. So let's go. All right, y'all just got done with the movie. Um, I'm going to do a quick spoiler free review of the movie, um, but if you don't want that at all, if you want to just skip it, then go to the timestamp below right there. Uh, you have been warned. I'm going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. The critics have kind of trashed the movie. It was pretty good visually. Um, they definitely put a lot of work and effort into the visuals and sort of building the whole world of Quantum Mania. You can see a lot of it in the trailers. But honestly, um, my main critique really is that it wasn't really an anime movie. A lot of the humor and stuff that you get from the other movies just wasn't in this one. Yeah. Uh, without going into any more detail, that's my spoiler free review. So. That pretty much wraps up the day for me. Um, I'm gonna have dinner at my house. Um, I made some spaghetti last night and uh, saved a little for today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be having that. Um, and nothing really much planned for today. Tomorrow, on the other hand, it's gonna be a big day. You guys are gonna see a lot of 
um, a lot of food and stuff. So I will, I'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll start our adventure. So peace. Good morning everyone, it's Saturday right now. Um, today's gonna be a pretty chill day. I gotta go do some shopping in a couple of places. And uh, along the way, we're gonna go try some Irish food. So uh, I'll meet you guys in Black Rock. Black Rock is the first place uh, that I need to go get some shopping done at. So yeah, see you there. <laughs> done at the first mall so now let's go eat so new plan the news cafe was um, booked and pretty full so I'm gonna head to another place called the mellow fig and I'm gonna eat there instead so let's go so for breakfast I had a traditional Irish breakfast at uh, the mellow fig cafe and it came with either coffee or tea. Uh, I chose tea and it came with about like three cups worth in that kettle. Um, a grilled tomato, black and white pudding. Uh, the white pudding's like oatmeal and a mix of pork liver uh, or meat. And then the black pudding is pork uh, blood and fat mixed together with the oats and barley and then mint and thyme and um, other spices. And then baked beans uh, and they're pretty much the equivalent of like a Bush's beans back back in the states uh, a pork sausage salsa I'm really I'm pretty sure that it was supposed to go with the eggs but I kind of ate it with the um, pudding and uh, it's sweet uh, it's it's not really spicy for a salsa and then toast uh, the one I got was a sourdough toast and then eggs you have the option to either fry them poach them or scramble them and then uh, bacon rashers. And those are like, um, the best way I can describe it is that the bacon rashers are like Canadian bacon. And then sometimes you can get mushrooms, but uh, I didn't have the option for that. So that's pretty much uh, the traditional Irish breakfast. Um, as far as uh, the meal goes, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the sausage and the beans uh, and the toast. Um, and even the eggs. So I'm actually like allergic to eggs normally, or like I have been in the past, but I have no idea why, but I was able to eat both of the eggs during this meal and like felt nothing later for the whole day and I was fine. So that was a miracle and it was really nice. Um, I also liked the bacon rashers. It was like, it's hard to explain. It's like ham, but like in, in bacon form. I know that that makes like zero sense because that's what bacon is, but like it's, I, I don't know, it's, it's just like so different from what I'm used to, but also like so good at the same time. <laughs> and then uh, the, the pudding was the more interesting thing on the plate. I don't, I still don't really know what I think about it. it I just couldn't get past like, it looked like meat, but yet it wasn't meat. It was like... It was, yeah, just the flavors didn't really settle well with me. But um, I did eat it anyway, just to get the whole experience. But yeah, just like the oatmeal and the meat flavor. Yeah, it's just not something I'm used to. So uh, it was definitely re really interesting getting to try that for the first time. But yeah, I drank the tea. The tea was really good. Uh, it's pretty much like any standard, like, uh, tea that you would have like a, like an English breakfast type tea uh, it was pretty good and uh, I drank it with uh, milk and then I put a little sugar in it at the end so the meal was really good and I'm, I'm definitely gonna have an Irish breakfast again while I'm here hey everyone just finished breakfast uh, it was really good um, I still don't know what that pudding stuff was I'm gonna have to look up what it is afterwards but um so now I'm headed back to Dublin, gonna do some shopping at Tesco's real quick, and then I'll head to the city center to go to another mall to get some other stuff. Um, so yeah, just, uh, I'll meet you guys over there. Let's go.
All right, y'all, I just finished at Tesco's. So I have one more trip I need to make. And for that, we need to go to Dublin City Center. Uh, it's a place called Curry's. It's like Best Buy. I need to get some technology related stuff there. And then after that, um, it'll be like lunch, dinner time. So I'll go eat somewhere. So yeah, let's go to Curry's and um, yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Let's go. Hey everyone just got done at the mall and um i totally forgot that i said if i got if the video last week got to five likes i would cut my hair so i checked and um unfortunately only got to four likes yeah better luck next time i guess uh next plan is uh we're just gonna go eat at a pub uh, i haven't been to a pub uh, in a while so uh, on Instagram, I held a poll uh, for either one or two. One was to this uh, pub called Br Brannigan's, and the other one was like McConnell's or something. And uh, one won, so uh, we're gonna go to Brannigan's, which is uh, pretty close by. It's just like a 10 minute bus ride. So we're gonna head on the bus right now and uh, cue the montage. the people what they want paul all right chill a promise is a promise y'all and um even though i don't know what youtube's on but it says it only has four likes even if you look at it but um on my end uh it says it actually got nine likes and 40 plus views you guys like smashed it so um yeah promise is a promise i'm gonna go cut my hair have one nice good look at my long hair because um it's gonna go bye bye now so yeah, um, I'm gonna go cut it right now and I'll see you guys after, then we can go eat. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Uh, just got done at the hair place, so next place we're going to is Brannigan's Pub, so we're gonna have a nice Irish dinner there. So cue the montage, let's go. Um, hair reveal at uh, 15 subs, so let's go. Psych! All right, chill, chill. I really need to stop trolling y'all. All right, um, y'all ready for this? Three, two, one. Doesn't look too bad. This is the shortest I've had my hair since like August 2021. So it's been like a year and a half since I've had this short of hair. I really like the cut. I think they did a really good job. And uh, yeah, so now rocking the new cut and everything. Uh, but yeah, so now we're actually going to go to the pub. And um, yeah, it's going to be my first time at a pub. So it's going to be fun. And uh, it's going to be a nice experience that so I'm going to take you guys along with me. So let's go to the pub, have a nice dinner, and then uh, wrap up this vlog. Let's go. So for dinner at Brannigan's Pub, I had a traditional lamb stew, and this is like one of the main like Irish dishes, if that makes sense. Like they aren't known for many dishes, but this is definitely one of them. And it, it consists of mashed potatoes, parsley, onions, carrots, turnips, uh, and lamb all mixed together in a stew. And then I also ha got a half pint of Guinness. And so as far as the Guinness goes, uh, whenever I first tried it, it was like really bitter. You can see my reaction that I was, I was kind of like, what is this? And then the more I like tasted it and tried to get used to the flavor, um, it wasn't like too bad, but definitely whenever I was eating it with the stew, that's when like it's, I could start telling, uh, I could start like tasting um, the sweetness of like the malt of it, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it because I've never like had anything 
like it before. But yeah, the stew was really good. It was really like rich and creamy and the lamb was like amazing inside of it. So yeah, that was definitely a, a nice treat to have a really hearty meal after a long day. But yeah, um, while I was in the pub, I had a couple of culture shock moments. The biggest one being that they never even asked for my ID or anything whenever I ordered the beer. I was just like, hey, can I get a half pint of Guinness? And not even a second glance, the waiter was just like, sure. And then went over and got it. Didn't have to like do anything. So that's like a big difference because I, or I know from like talking to my friends or whatever uh, back home that like in the States, they like really crack down at like with bouncers and stuff at like clubs and even just like in general with IDs. But overall, the pub life was amazing. Uh, they had rugby on the screens and I still have no idea how that game's played or how the score even, scoring even works, but um, I'm gonna try to figure that out before I go because uh, it seems <laughs> seems like a kind somewhat interesting sport. And then usually there's like live music and stuff going on at the pub, but the, the one I went to was a little bit smaller than uh, most of them. Um, so there wasn't any of that. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that was pretty much my experience at the pub. And um, overall, it was really nice. I'm just definitely going to go back to another one, but um, it was a little bit more on the expensive side. So not something that I would want to do like every night or every weekend. So that's pretty much gonna bring the day to a close. Uh, I'm gonna head back to campus now and then uh, we'll do the outro there. I'll see you guys there. All right, y'all, just got back to campus, so I'm gonna do the outro here. Um, hopefully you guys like this vlog. Um, it was a little different than my other scenery vlogs. I have a big trip planned um, next week, so that's gonna be another like scenic vlog type thing that you guys are used to. This video gets to two likes. I'm gonna chug a thing of sparkling water. Um, th <laughs> I'm doing this cause like, I wanna do something like fun like little mini like side quests or something random like that just keep the vlogs interesting and fun so yeah if you guys enjoy this leave a like and um yeah i'll see you guys next week and uh, have a good week everyone <laughs>